Okay, now we're going to look at the second part of Goja Dori. Uh, this is going to be with the extended strike. My training partner recoils and I attack the open hand. So let's break this down and look at it slowly. Again, practice your different kamai. He strikes, receive appropriate. Then from here, as he goes to recoil, attach yourself to that energy, but take this opposite arm. Then from here, bring it around onto the shoulder, then straight down against the elbow. Move away over the head. From a different angle. Okay, that was Goja Dori, the second version. One of the things that I want to remind uh, you of is paying close attention to the basic principles in your movement. Please make sure that as you're doing your movements, such things as Yoko Aruki, making sure that your navel is directed at your training partner and that you're not overstepping and locking up your legs. Uh, making sure that when you're doing Goja Dori and you're the Uke, that your strikes are appropriate, that you're, you know, you're paying close attention to those basics. And that's what we mean by the importance of um, basic and fundamentals. If you don't have those down, you're not gonna be able to develop and to progress uh, beyond the basics. So please pay close attention to that and don't get beyond yourself. Don't get ahead of yourself.